and I said, God, I've never felt this close to you. Can you show me a little something? I think I saw a bit of heaven. I think I saw a little bit closer to God. Like if we're on ground zero, I think we went level 4,000. And I want to share this experience with you from a Christian perspective. I know a lot of people have gone to Nandi Hills. If you have, comment below. It's one of the sightseeing places of Bangalore where I am. And I've been there before, but this time was really caught up in the clouds. And I want to tell you all about it. It's unfortunate that there was a landslide at Nandi Hills just recently. And uh, we were there a month ago, so it's kind of crazy how that happened. <sighs> I ready? This is going to be a different kind of video, kind of a story time, sit down and chat. Long time since I did that, so I'm excited to just take you on this trip with me. Can I just say, the start was quite rough. We were really desperate to get out of the home. All the hotels around Nandi Hills were completely sold out, but my parents have an incredible faith. So we did pack a change of clothes and basic stuff and we just went without knowing where we were going. The drive there itself was just amazing. Like we were squealing, winding up the road. Suddenly there are these turns and we're like, ah! And falling on each other and it was so fun. We reached the parking space. My dad's like going to see if we can go any further up because we want to go right on top. And Kitty and I, we were like, there's some snacks in the car, let's get that and come. So they gave us the key. There was some monkeys coming. We heard they're gonna snatch your food, so be careful. So in that panic, we took the snacks and we left the key in the boot and we shut the boot nice and hard. I started taking out my hair clip and I was trying in the movies how they try to open the boot. It looked really stupid. The door did not unlock in any way. My dad comes and thankfully he did not blow up. In fact, he tried to come for us, which I was so grateful for. They called a mechanic. Oh, it was such a horrible sight. I was taking this long thing and trying to, you know, open the lock. Context for our car, it's 18 years old. Turns out it has one of the best security systems. So everything they tried and they tried a lot of strange things as well, which I'd never seen. It was not opening. So finally they're like, we have to break the glass. And we decided, you know what? Let's just take a break. Kitsi and I are feeling like everything's like doomed. Even though my parents were so amazing, they took us to this little snack place, a little shelter. It was freezing. We sat there and they started singing God will make a way Where there seems to be no way He works in ways we cannot see He will make a way for me It was such a beautiful moment Like if you have any faith, can you use it now please? Now my brother He's on medication, so he can't walk too much. He's already feeling a little sleepy. We have a long way upwards to go. We're trying our best, you know? Go positive, have faith. Oh! Okay, come. Imagine if we're inside a rainbow. Hi, doing, Kitty. Oh. <laughs> Never do this again to me again. Oh, we're gonna come every month, Kitty. Hate you. Thanks. Oh. Love you too. I need to pee. We reached the sunrise point and we still have a little more way to find room. We continue going up and we ask the person in this hotel, is there any room for us? Honestly, I'm outside this place thinking like my family is a bit crazy. We've come here with bags without knowing if there's any room. The, the net says there's no room clearly. Looking at the view, it was stunning. I felt very sad feeling like we're gonna have to leave in a second. But something pushes me in, I'm inside and this hotel guy is looking at us very like intently and he says, come let me show you a room. And he shows us the perfect place. I wish I could give you all the details but it was just perfect for us. It was at a price that we could pay and it was there, it was available, so we got a place. The plan was we stay the night and we see the sunrise in the morning and then head back. But everything that we have packed is in the car. Bit of a tricky spot but we decide, you know what, God will help us. We have faith, we enjoy the view over there, we go as close to the wall as possible. 
to look down, everything looks so small. The cars look like fractions of dots and there's this church that we can see that looks like a white little dot. And I'm thinking, man, all these months I've been worrying and worrying and worrying, especially after the lockdown, you know, things have just kind of built up into, you know, there's so much more tension and stress all around, there's so much death and all of these things you can't even see from that height. And we're not even in heaven heaven. Now why I said first heavens in the title is because according to the Bible, it's not one heaven, it's like levels of heavens. In Genesis it says that God hung the stars and the moon and the sun in the firmament of the heavens. So there's like three heavens. The first heaven is where the clouds are and the atmosphere. The second heaven is outside our planet stars, the sun, the moon and the third heaven is also called heavens of the heavens where God himself dwells. So there is some kind of significance geographically although I don't think that if you travel high enough you'll like reach the heavens with a rocket or something but there's some significance the fact that Jesus ascended upwards and it says he descended to come down to earth. So we're just on a hill but already I'm feeling Whoa, everything is so small. How much smaller it is in light of the heavens of the heavens. How big the real true important things are. How big God must be. So it's already really incredible. I couldn't stop staring at how close the clouds were. They were just like, you know, moving so fast. I've spent a lot of time in my balcony down here looking up and looking at the clouds and they move you can see them moving but it's very slow but over here it's so fast i'm thinking wow things are so much faster up here when they look so much slower down there and i'm thinking wow we think god is moving so slow but actually he's moving at light years speed you know we just can't see it from where we're at so this is already stuff flooding my mind over here. And we're not even at the sunrise yet. We were talking and talking about the goodness of God. And by this time, my dad gets this idea to call someone from our building, the previous watchman, whether it's possible if paid, would he be able to get the spare car key for us. He refers another person and he comes all the way. Thankfully, God made a way. He made a way. Like within five, six hours of singing that song, we had the car open. It was such a relief. And that night, we were just sitting and talking about the goodness of God, how He saved us, saved this car. It's like a small thing, but it's also a big thing. And we're talking about God's favor, how awesome, how wonderful. Uh, we're talking about the beauty of the place around us, how amazing. And I'm like so taken up by this place. I'm very excited to see the sunrise. By the way, the view in the night was also beautiful because the city lights were sparkling. It was like stars on the ground. It was so pretty. But after a little night discussion and we looked out the window and there's nothing. It was as if we've been plucked out of the world or something and thrown into darkness. Even if there's an electricity cut, it will not be so dark. We realize slowly it's a cloud. We are looking into the cloud now and maybe... Oh, look at that! Look at that! <gasps> Dude, look at that! I'm freaking out! Mm. There is a tornado coming from this torch. It was incredible. It was really scary. Terrifying and incredible at the same time. We go to bed, take a bit of time to sleep because we're so excited. And when we get up, I wanted to catch sunrise. And unfortunately, by the time we went out, like four minutes late, the sun was already up in the sky, which was a little bit disappointing. But my friends, when I looked around the sky, oh my gosh. It was the most incredible sight that I have ever seen in my life. Everything that we saw the previous day that was uh, just above us, it had all come down and was even below us. One of the first sights that I saw was this huge 
big cloud far enough to see the mass of it but close enough to feel like you're right on par with it the sun is all golden the clouds around the sun are like golden i look this side and there's big clouds rolling rolling by right on top of our heads and we're in the middle of it as well we just don't know it and look um i look on this side and there's like seas upon seas of clouds just going like this and jumping over the hills and going and jumping over and like deer jumping over stuff and i am shook i am absolutely like gobsmacked and i peer into the distance and there's this bunch of golden clouds right uh, right near the sun i felt like if i looked hard enough i would see heaven somehow i felt like i did like where god lives i mean i just peered very hard and i said god i've never felt this close to you and can you show me something like you showed john you showed you know different different kinds of people can you show me a little something and there's something in me that's like recognizes my eternal home there's some kind of a familiarity that that came from reading from the revelations the city of gold and the streets of gold and it was such a golden little spot far far away i was like half crying the whole time just staring at everything trying to take a video the actual sight was i felt like suddenly in the midst of so much power so much glory so much majesty i mean i didn't really see like the throne or anything but the fear of god descended on me i thought i feared god but looking at this majesty of his creation i was just terrified of its maker like if he made all of these big big mountains by the way we could see so many mountains across the landscape like i don't know hundreds and thousands of hills and millions of clouds this horizon that went for miles and miles and miles and miles to where the eye could not see i just began to think of who was behind all of this and the more i thought of it the more i thought of how he's been talking to me and i've been talking to him through jesus christ <laughs> i got scared to kill that thing that you got translated <laughs> she said you can't see anything I've been going to take God a lot more seriously to obey him quicker do everything that he's been asking there were times like I kind of reason out with him like I can't do a certain thing but now I'm like do not disobey this God like if he has all of this under his control I am like so much tinier and he has so much more power over me and i know it's just a fraction of what the real picture is but the fear of god just struck me and at the same time it's not pushing me away from god it's drawing me a lot closer our relationship has just grown so much deeper because i've understood oh god like oh wow yes you who made the heavens and the earth i feel like god was right there you know like almost tangibly almost and the more i felt that the more i was like longing to just be sucked up into the heavens into the heavens of the heavens and i'm praying and i'm like god i know we just came here for one day i cannot imagine going down i can't i mean i've spent all my life looking down looking at plants on the ground slowly i started looking up i started looking at the stars i started seeing the clouds i've looked and looked and looked for so long now i feel like i'm here and i can't now go back down that's how bad it became for me <laughs> i'm almost fighting with god at this point like 
You can't show me this much beauty and glory and then expect me to go back down to normal life, to my home, which is very beautiful, which is surrounded by beautiful nature. But at this moment, I'm like, the ground? And I'm seriously having this corner with God and he's telling me, you know, all, all he's giving me lectures like, I have work for you to do. You need to go and tell people about me. If you felt me so much closer now, you need to tell people about it. You need to tell people about the reality of heaven and hell. And you need to tell them that there is more than this little tiny, tiny life that you looked upon earlier. But man, I'm, I was staring at those clouds for hours. I didn't brush my teeth, I didn't drink water. Those are things I do like immediately by default. I didn't do any of those things. I didn't care about eating or drinking. I'm just staring at these clouds for hours. I just felt so high, <laughs> felt so high. I felt so close to God. Like as if he answered my prayers in part, you know? I'm like, I wanna see you, I wanna be with you forever. I feel like he, answered all of that to some extent and i just couldn't have enough of it and my whole family was in in awe of everything all of us are nature freaks it was amazing for all of us we all were stunned at the glory and the goodness of god and finally it was time to go i felt so sad i felt like like depressed like i i have like i was having a crisis and I was trying to like, I can't leave. I don't know how I want to live after this. Like seriously. Oof. We went and we're all feeling that kind of like sadness as we go down. It took a time for me. I couldn't talk for some time. I, I didn't share any photos with anybody. But I took so long. I mean, I've taken a month to just be able to word all these things. I wrote a song a few days after that. He tells me, God tells me, go back down tell your friends that i'd love to have them here as well like you're coming back here um having faith that you're gonna endure in your faith and you will come back here but a lot of people you know may not unless you tell them so here i am telling you there is more to this life than the worries of this world and school and college and work there's so much more this earth itself is so much bigger the heavens are so much higher and as high as the heavens are from the earth, so are the thoughts and the ways of God from our thoughts. Without even our knowledge most of the time, we do stuff that hurts God and we're doomed to hell, guys. We want to go up, but we're going to go down. We're going to go way down to the depths of the earth in fire forever if we do not today give our lives to Jesus Christ. Jesus is real. God is real. As real as the wind is that we cannot see. God is much more real than that because that wind is, exists because of Him. He breathes on the earth. He breathes life into us. The breath you breathe is Him. Even just test things out. Take a look at the Bible and see whether there's anything in it. Try talking to God. Go to Him through Jesus because we are so fallen creatures, like we can't come near such a holy God. But when we have faith in Jesus, this innocent Jesus who died for us and rose for us, His holiness kind of covers us like a cloud. And by that we go to Him, God hears us, God answers us. So can you just like try it out? Because there's no time. Honestly, I've been feeling we're, we're at the brink of the end. I mean, the world is falling apart. There are wars. Jesus said, when you hear of wars, don't be afraid because they must come to pass before I come back on the earth. Jesus who came down from the heavens and who went back into the heavens is going to come down again. And this time he's going to come in full glory. He's not going to come in the manger with the cows and on a donkey. He's, he's going to come on the clouds. That is going to be too late for you to suddenly say, Oh, Jesus, yeah, yeah, I did love you. Like, you didn't love me. You didn't feed my sheep. You didn't take care of the poor. You didn't this, you didn't that. You know, the psalm says, The heavens declare your handiwork of majesty. That's exactly what I saw. Just give it a shot, all right? Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you got a glimpse of the things that I saw. Share this with people who've been to this place or who would like to, spiritually or physically. <laughs> I'm Vian Damaris. This channel is 
I'm going to start saying to turn our eyes to Jesus, you know, because when we do that, everything just settles, including striving to be like Him. Everything settles when we just keep our eyes fixed on Jesus Christ. Subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye. Ooh. <laughs>